dropped to the bench. Now McGinn returns against his former club, and captain Ryan Jack makes his first start since September after a knee injury. Keeper Joe Lewis should know what to expect from Moussa Dembele. They were teammates at Fulham last season. Brendan Rodgers made lots of changes at Ross County, but there's a more familiar look today, of course. Scott Sinclair and Moussa Dembele came on to score in the Highlands. They're in from the off. So too, Jozo Shimunovic, Scott Brown, James Forrest and Tom Rogic. Emilio Izaguirre continues with Kieran Tierney injured and Stuart Armstrong keeps his place ahead of Nier Beaton. Beaton. It's not bad for starters on this Scottish Premiership weekend. It's Aberdeen against Celtic. Aberdeen's need is urgent. Celtic are in a menacing mood just now, aren't they? Yeah, Celtic are in top form, and I saw Aberdeen at Hamilton during the week, and if they're to get anything this afternoon... Zagiri in for Tierney. Caught by Johnny Hayes. And Hayes, taken out by Sviatchenko and Stephen McLean, is going to have to show a car in the first minute. Yeah, I don't think he's got any option, the referee, Stephen McLean. Is Aguirre dithering on the ball? Hayes, look at the pace of him. And had he been able to get away there, that was so promising. Aberdeen might have been... Johnny Hayes was behind him. James Forrest. Tease in Considine here. Brilliantly taken by Armstrong. Joe Lewis makes the save from Dembele. Frantic activity. Close to Aberdeen's goal. Connor across to cover. He does secure a throw eventually, which will be taken by Shea Logan. for a free kick now, but uh, Tony Hayes is grounded. Clearly just gets a knock in the face here. Brown's arm is up. He's thrown it into the face here of Hayes. It's a sore one for him. Powered away by Izaguirre. Only to Considine. McLean. Logan. McGinn! Oh! The centre halves having to Sort it out for Celtic. Aberdeen's turn to have a go. Wes Burns unable to find a way through. That was loose from Hayes, though. Fouled by O'Connor on Dembele. Dembele. Rogic. Armstrong. Rogic. Another wild challenge from Considine who. Considine maintains here that he got the ball. I think he's right. He did get it. by Kenny McLean. Yeah, poor challenge for McLean. Lucky to get away with that one. Some uh, nice footwork there from Rogic, who was promptly taken out by Jack. Brilliant from Rogic. Sinclair. <laughs> Shinny with the challenge, but Celtic carry on. Armstrong. Dembele. room to manoeuvre there for Moussa Dembele and Aberdeen will be keen to keep it that way here's James Forrest though middle to front you get a bit of skill at this from Rogic who moves his feet really quickly he takes a foul there but Celtic had possession referee played the advantage great feet from Burns but it's broken kindly here for Dembele this could be awkward for Aberdeen Moussa Dembele is running at them and he's not about to give up yet now Tom Rogic Corner 
Yeah, well done, Andy Considine. And Billy ran from the halfway line. Considine here just faced up to his opponent. Made sure it was difficult for him to find the target. Sinclair sends it in. And Logan sends it out. Rogic. Sinclair shows interest, but he's offside, in fact. Flag up. Well, he's got so much pace, Sinclair. He's trying to hang on to that last yard or so. Surely he'll beat Logan in a sprint over 15, 20 yards. What a Brown. Armstrong. Lustig arrives. And Lustig didn't hang about. Logan's header goes only to Rogic. And that's a fine finish from Tom Rogic. The champions flexing their muscles here. They have the lead in this top of the table tussle. Yes, a poor headed clearance from Logan. But this is a wonderful goal. Look at his first touch. That's a difficult one to take on his second. First touch with the right, the finish with the second. Rogic, I think, has been an inspiration for Celtic this season. Terrific play, what a goal-scoring threat he is. And that is as calm and composed a finish as you're likely to see. Really difficult ball to take. Beautiful strike. And a really clever goal from Tom Rogic. Brendan Rodgers. Sinclair has picked out Rogic again. Who finished this time? Beautiful first touch control. Not so good we second that time. But the timing of the run is magnificent. The pass is weighted perfectly. The first touch, excellent. Second, not quite so good. Dembele took that with ease. Yeah, too easy, I think. Connor's got to be a bit more aggressive. Get himself in a better starting position. To... Good ball to go and attack. Lustig just putting him off, making sure he doesn't get a clean header. And the Considine's last tingle. Belly shadowed by O'Connor. Forrest. Lustig. Made room for the cross. Sinclair. Gathered to Dane. Brilliant cross from again, right to the back post. That was going wide. The fact that it took the sting out of it from Shemunovic. Could have fallen for an Aberdeen player, but fell into Gordon's hands. Armstrong for Dembele. Oh. Zagiri, lurking edge of area, keeps it alive, Forrest, Rogic, and Stuart Armstrong arrived, but it slithered horribly wide. Wow, what a bad miss, beautiful set up from Rogic. And look at Armstrong, the timing of the run is perfect, can't believe he doesn't find the target there. Great play from Rogic, great set up play. One that got away for sure for Stuart Armstrong. It is half time, and it is the champions who have the edge at Fatodri. An exquisite goal from Tom Rogic. It's other games in a row prior to that defeat at Hamilton in midweek. And now they trail Celtic here. Sinclair. Armstrong. And Graham Shinney is going to receive a yellow card. The first time he was challenged today like that. Poor challenge from Shinney. Well away. Armstrong actually rides it well. I don't think he can complain about the yellow. Dembele. Connor breathing down the back of his shirt again. He's a gear it. 
Scott Brown. Sinclair linking up with Dembele. Sinclair. Oh, that's a tremendous try, and it's matched by the save from Joe Lewis. Absolute quality save. I thought it was in view right behind it, Ian. For the first time, Sinclair's got a one-on-one -on -one view. Logan gets away from him. The shot is measured right into that top corner. What a leap that is from Lewis. Terrific save. Yeah, they looked like he was heading in, able to screen it. He'll stick on his way now. Oh, it's a perfect pass. And Rogic is closing in on goal again. And Joe Lewis makes a vital save to keep Aberdeen in the game. What a cross this. Absolutely measured from Lustig. McLean can't get there. The only surprise is that Rogic doesn't get a second goal. It's straight at Lewis. Lustig. Rogic pops up yet again. Dembele and Joe Lewis proving to be quite a barrier to Celtic. Yeah, he's keeping his team in it. Excellent save yet again from Lewis. When you think about this. Connor, there's two goes at it. Dembele trying to find the room. It's Rogic! Might have taken a deflection and Lewis was there again to react. Rogic again having a pop at goal from outside the box. It's a difficult one just bouncing in front of him, but he keeps it out. And then this one from Dembele. What a save that is. Moves his feet really well. But that is the best of a lot, this one. Look at that effort from Sinclair. Right into the top corner, and the leap with the right hand. Absolutely wonderful save. And Bellet. Sinclair. It's Tom Rogic popping up again. And Celtic still can't find a second goal. He's dragged it wide. He knows this is a... Maybe his best chance of all to get his second goal. Again, really good first touch with his left to set him up with the right foot. That's a poor attempt from Rogic. You expect better. The ballet for Sinclair. Dembele, Forrest, puts it wide. Side of the foot from Forrest, and he should do better yet again. Sinclair 1v1 with Logan, short passing, setting up James Forrest. And he strikes it really well, but doesn't find the target. Been closed down by two, three Aberdeen players. How's it happening? Uh, he certainly made the save, really good touch at the front post there from Rooney, but the move is kept alive, it's back into the box. Plenty of options there for Aberdeen, trying to go on a loose ball. I think it was that touch from Burns on Sviatchenko. That one there, the barge into the side. But Gordon made a really good save. And he's made all the difference this afternoon so far. Well, Rogic takes his leave and near Beton will come on with 20 minutes remaining at Petodri. Rogic adding another fine goal to what is Sinclair. Reynolds stretching to clear. Dembele. Sinclair moves alongside. Dembele! Did so well to create the yard of space to get the shot away. Really sharp feet here from Dembele. Once he drags it onto his left foot, just completely loses control of the shot, trying to generate too much power. Paid big money for him. Totally different player, James Forrest under Brendan Rodgers. Another one who's had a marvellous season. But this guy's... I think Mike Michael Lustig will... Uh... He's shown a yellow card as well, he is indeed. It's going to be replaced shortly, but not while they're defending this. Hey, he's looking for Burns, and once again, Aberdeen. Well, 
failed to deliver into the box. Now, so frustrating for the supporters in front of us here, wanting to see a ball into the box. So Mikhail Lustig, having just been booked, is about to be replaced. It looked like he might have taken a, a saw one earlier, he was grimacing for a little while. He doesn't know his numbers up yet. Or does he? Lustig replaced by Christian Gamboa, the Costa Rican international, who joined from West Brom. You can see Steve McLean, he's holding his watch up, he realises he has to add on a bit of time here. For Lustig taking an eternity to get off the pitch. We're into the final ten minutes. Celtic have had chances to add to Tom Rogic's strike. John Lewis has been in their way a few times. So still tense times here at 1-0. Shay Logan. Almost landed by us on the gantry. Uh, Sally and nobody up here could control the ball. So. <laughs> Super Sunday tomorrow kicks off at Goodison Park. Everton against West Ham from 12:30 on Sky Sports One. Also available in Ultra HD. And it's followed by Southampton against Chelsea from 3:30. Dembele, now Armstrong, here's Gamboa, he's got Patrick Roberts ahead of him. Armstrong. Roberts battling away, Armstrong returns it, and Roberts get a clear side of goal here. Shea Logan with a clearance, Dembele twisting and turning. Gamboa. In the corner for Celtic. Robert's causing all sorts of. And Roberts getting. He's got Patrick Roberts ahead of him. Armstrong returns it. And Roberts getting a clear side of goal here. Shea Logan with a clearance. Dembele twisting and turning. Gamboa. In the corner for Celtic. Robert's causing all sorts of problems. <laughs> for Tommy Hayes, challenge there. And he's on the yellow card. Aberdeen just keen to keep the pressure on. Look at Johnny Hayes. Hasn't seen too much wrong with that, in all honesty. Uh, sent off. Johnny Hayes and Rooney. Shinny almost held back there. A nearly but not quite moment. This doesn't suit Aberdeen so late on. Well, he's in behind. And this ball drops to him here. Just can't get it under control to get a shot away. Wonder if he'd have got a penalty had he gone down earlier when Shimunovic made. Logan. It's come through to Hayes, Stockley can't get there, nor can Rooney, Madison! It just won't happen for Aberdeen. He caught it well, Madison, he's got to get over it. Stockley, the front post, can't get to the ball. And although he's going back a yard or two, Madison, you know he's got the ability here just to keep it down and find the target. He loses control of the volley. There's Shinny going through earlier on. And that touch there, had he gone down, I'm sure the referee would have given him a penalty. Roberts. It's Scott Sinclair. Yeah. The long way around, skirting yeah. O'Connor. Just one too many from Sinclair. He's a gear out. Beat on. He found a way to Roberts. Armstrong is waiting. And Celtic still can't score a second. 
Well, he scored something similar on the other night against Ross County. Armstrong at the edge of the box here, just trying to get it into that far corner again. Into the byline, absolutely terrific. Similarly here, and surely given Aberdeen the last chance, Lewis is up again. Joe Lewis loitering with intent. It's now or never for Aberdeen. Madison takes. Oh, no corner! The brilliant save from Craig Gordon. Well, we've seen Joe Lewis keeping them out at one end. That actually comes from Sviatchenko. What a save from Gordon! And Aberdeen score here. Sotek have held on for a victory. And with ten games played, they are ten points above Aberdeen and with a game in hand. The Brendan Rodgers effect and today the Tom Rogic effect as he scored another high-quality goal that he seems to specialise in. They needed Craig Gordon, though, right at the end. Well, look, Sviachenko goes up here with a corner and it's the... Reaction save from Kate Gordon ensures all three points for Celtic. Wonderful result for them. A huge contribution to the course from Craig Gordon.